Welcome to Driveway Repair on Dayton Mountain in Dayton, Tennessee. You remember uh, just a few weeks ago, this is what the road looked like out in front of our place. Well, then this is what the road looked like. The problem was it froze. It was bitter cold. We had a good amount of traffic coming and going on our driveway, and it froze the driveway down, down, down. And then it thawed from the top down, and before it was completely thawed, we had rain. So rain, along with the runoff water from the frozen snow and ice, turned the driveway to mud. It was quite a deal getting in and out. In fact, Jan and I just left our car parked during that time period, but others had to go to work. So we borrowed a tractor from Miss Christie, and we got a few shovels out, and we went to work. Now, the ideal thing is to end up with a crowned driveway. And from what we were able to discover, hauling in gravel and putting it on top of mud seems like that would be all right, but no because the gravel just squishes down into the mud and the mud comes up through the gravel and now you still have a squishy mess. So with the tractor, we hauled off the mud. We would get a scoop load and then we would drive it back to a location where we could dump it. Now, it was hard for me to know what I was doing with the bucket. I was not familiar with this track at, tractor, so TJ gave me a hand, gave me directions. We worked out some hand signals and we began to haul off the muck, the mire, the goo. And with the muck and the mire and the goo all gone, um, well, then we would be ready for the, the gravel. So here we are, and we're doing our job best as we can. It took time, but uh, had to be, bit by bit. So here's what we got. DJ directed me to put the scoop down. And then it got to the point that the tractor was not able to move. And I didn't want to go charging in there for fear of breaking the tractor, so we just kept it gentle. It wasn't a full bucket, but TJ said, go ahead, dump it, because getting another load is an issue.
So we really wanted to crown the driveway, but there was no control uh, side to side. So however the tractor wheels were set the angle of the, of the work. So we kept working at it. So we decided to use the rototiller on the back of the tractor to loosen up the, the muck so that I could scoop into it a little bit better. So now we're going to scoop up the loosened stuff. So using the rototiller was very helpful. It loosened it up. We were able to scoop it out. And then we leveled it out, dragging the bucket back and forth, using some handwork 
and then we called in the truck. We wanted to get a lot more gravel. It costs $100 to have the gravel delivered, uh, and then it costs per scoop. So it was a beautiful day. We were ready, and the man came. We expected that he would have a tailgate that he could release and chain it and have control when he pulled it out, when he pulled the track to the truck out so it would spread the gravel. But that was not the case. The doors opened up wide like gates, and then it just dumped. So more tractor work, but that was okay. <laughs> That works too, because we get the tractor back. Oh, here we go. That's six bucket loads. Six scoops. All right, any time now. Ah. Well, we had to be careful because we got wires up there. So that was the end of the project and that's what the driveway looks like. It is not crowned so we're waiting to see what happens when we get a good rain to see whether it uh, washes out or what happens but it's what we could do so that's what we got. <laughs>